So process to follow through when you misplace your password, when you misplace your MFA, the first of all, you sign in, then you enter your password, you click every problem with password, then you resync with the, with the other server. But that one, this option is only when your token is not working well. That's when you use this option. But if your token is missed, maybe you misplace it, you are going to sign in using alternative factor. And using alternative factor, they are going to ask you to authenticate your email. After you authenticating your email, they will not, they will, you, you, the phone number you use in creating that your account. Remember when you're creating that account, there was a number you put there. They will call that number. And the number that is going to call that number will end with 7899. When that number calls you, eh, it will give you some code. That code, you enter it into your system. Then from there, you now sign in properly. You now go, go to your account and delete your former MFA. Are you with me? And resync it with your new one. These are just the process. When you sign in, like you remember, as I did my own now, um, I, first of all, you remember I logged in. I logged in as a root user. Then I said, I put my password, my email address. Then I, I, this one is not part of it. I don't know why they started doing all these things, but it's also okay. 2BB arrow. Then my password, I put my password. You sign in. And it's not asking me now, what MFA do I use? So yeah, I will say having trouble with my MFA. Then you use alternate. This is when your, this one is when your password is, your your token is not working well. That's when you use this one. You resync the factor. But if it's working where you misplaced it, you use alternative factor. If you click alternative factor, yeah, you just tell me. This is this is why they tell why they giving me this issue is because. My password that I entered did not rhyme with the password in their database. So enter it again. Then alternative factor, if I click this, see, they will, so, so many security stuff, they, they, will, they will not send a message to my email that I requested for reset of my password. You know those things. I wouldn't want to go all those stress. So but these are the things they are going to do to you. They are going to send a message to your email, the email using creating it telling you to re-authenticate. By the time you click that email, they will not call your phone number. They will, they will not call your phone number and give you a code. You put that code. Then you will not successfully log into your account, delete the former token, put another token, then you are back. I wouldn't want to go through that stress with this, my, this particular account because this my account is very, very important account. Apart from training, I also use it for another thing. So I think what I will do, I will do an offline class for that purpose. I do an offline class for that particular purpose. So I think with that, we cannot go straight to our main class. So let's go straight to the class of today. Um, Mr. Um, Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel. Hello? Yeah, I'm with you. OK, I'm Mr. Emeka. Uh, both of you are partners for today. Okay. Mr. Taiwo and Mr. Olatunji, both of you are partners for today. Okay. Um, Mr. Mr. Taiwo and Mr. Olatunji, both of you, you guys don't know yourself, Abi. Huh? Not, not at all. Okay, beautiful. I like that. So both of you are team player today. So this is our role. The, the, what's the job role for today? A company. I'm going to come back. Or when we come back, this is the project we're going to do. A company have hired both of you, your two team, eh, to work in an admin department. And the work is that none of you has 100% right to create a user and grant a user permission. You understand? So they want 
both of you to so you are going to design both of you they are, both of you are going to design an admin group that admin group does not have rights you are going to design three admin group and this three admin group one will have the right to create an account one will have the right to allocate uh, to to view resources why the other one will have the right to make use of some resources so i'm going to be read write and uh, view read write read write and execute function you know execute function is also like read read uh, read function then a list function is like you can okay list function means you can see eh? but you cannot use it to work read means you can use it to work but you cannot create it while write means you can create you can read you can delete you understand me? So meaning admin one, we have the right to give a list permission to any user. Admin two, we have the right to make to, to allocate resources to user to make use of. But those users does not have the right to delete any resources. They can only just use it. You understand me? Why the third right is the third admin group we create a user that can launch instance and delete instance. I know we've not really talked about this, but I believe with this practical class, we are going to know more about this IAM. This is real work. Are we up to this? Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Are, we, are we up to this? Try. Don't worry, I'll be here. We'll be doing it together. I'll be here, we'll be doing it together. So I, I think this, uh, this, this time I have four minutes. So these four minutes, I'm going to use these four minutes to explain what I expect you guys to do. So by the time we come back for the second half, we should be able to do it without any supervising. Please take note of what I want to do now. Just be attentive. Okay, it's all about policy. Mm -hmm. It's all about policy. So what I'm going to do is this. This is the user group. Huh? So with the function I explained to you, we are going to have three user, three admin group, Abi. Three admin group. So I want to create three admin group. Let's create the first one. Oh, we're going to call it admin one. Please take note because I may not run if any time the time runs up, you guys will pick it up from the admin one. Then I said the admin one has the capacity to the capacity to just give permission. The user, the use the, this this admin one only have right to allocate the read function to so we can say IAM. Let's use let's use this first one. Let's let's use this first one. There are other way, there are many ways of doing it, but let's use this easiest way first. Let's say I am. You can see I am full access. You see I am read only. Huh? We have I am change password. We have I am quick list. We have I am uh, analyzer stuff. We have IAM advisor. We have IAM SSH keys. So these are the resources IAM can make use of. However, you can still decide to do another way around by creating the group without attaching anything to it. Let's create the group first. It's not compulsory that you must add a policy to the group. It's not compulsory. You see the group we just created now, it does not have any policy attached to it. So you can decide to create the policy here. You can add permission. Create inline, inline policy. The service, the source. So I know we've not got into this part. Though. We know this, this part I'm showing is the recall I am. I was expecting that after today, we all are going to, I'm going to give this as an assignment, but I will just run through this. Okay, we have this, 
this um, this is a policy. The first policy we used in our first time, we just created the policy. This is a policy. So we have to type of policy. To have two, two ways of giving a policy. Either like this or like this. this is the JSON format of the policy. This one means there is no statement. This one means there's something. So we can either say read IAM. See IAM here. So the IAM you are picking here is which type of IAM? You can see the row. Hmm? You can see the row, which is list, read, tag, write, permission management. So the first row, the first admin one can only give read and write, read and list. Admin two, we have read, list, and write. Eh? And admin three, we have read, list, write, and permission management. Can you do that? Admin one, 